Well, the good news is I made it here. The bad news is I'm probably never gonna be able to get out of that parking spot. I have no visibility and I'm right on the road. So I have less than an hour to shop. I have like 45 minutes. Oh my gosh, I love this sign. Yes, yes, yes. yes. All right, let's go. <laughs> it's like cha-cha music super snazzy I love the vibe in here so far it's definitely like a little bit fancier whoa and um, a little bit snazzier than I'm accustomed to but you know I love going to new antique malls especially because that way I know I have like no remorse you know what I mean I can scratch it off my list it's like oh <gasps> Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Fantastic. Unfortunately, at $49, that's pretty close to what I'd get for that after fees, especially with the stain on the back, but I've never seen a blue one. All the Fire King polka dots. Oh, I love that set. And the Miller Studio Chalkware Fish. Unfortunately, 18, that's a little close. I could still make a couple bucks off of it, but not enough to justify. Plus I see a tiny nick. And when there's one, there's usually more in my, in my uh, experience. Wow. Like I said, even though a lot of this isn't my own personal go-to, I really appreciate the way everything's laid out. Oh my gosh, look at this photo. What is going on there? That is so weird. I kind of feel weird leaving that behind. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, look at these frames. Wait, $6.50? That's gorgeous. This frame is definitely older too. There's something really neat about that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. All right, I'm gonna sift through this stuff, I think. Maybe not like the most because I don't have that much time. Woman with the cat. There's just so much good weirdness. And it just dawned on me that the back is broken. That's why there's tape. So I think I am going to go ahead and leave it. If it was for myself, I wouldn't think twice. But for resale, I'm a little bit nervous. This is so fun. So people tell me all the time there's not much kitsch where they are. Wherever that may be, this has been repainted, it looks like. It's a repop, I think. Yeah, it's a really good repop. Yeah, this is a really good repop. No? Yes. Yeah, really good reproductions. Um, and I never believe it. I'm like, there's no way. Not that I think you guys are lying to me or anything, but now I'm kind of starting to see for myself. I am uh, lucky where I live with the kitsch. Now, I have a feeling this is gonna be expensive, but I couldn't resist. Oh, it's not what I thought it was. It's made to look like one of the old rubber face uh, dolls that play football. I've never had much luck with sports related stuff. Anyway, oh my gosh, this mirror. I would buy that for $119, no questions asked. And there's a lot going on in this booth too. All the stuff I like is like newer hobbyist stuff so far. <laughs> That's new, the poodle lamp, but it's still cute. Hmm. Wow, look at this room. <gasps> oh, wow. That's amazing. And then I see flamingos. $40. Look at the um, thermometer one. And the chalkware. Oh, giant fish. It's all kind of... Oh, tap it mag. Oh my gosh, what is that? And I love this hairbrush. And I love the dish. I've had a set of those before. And need, is this, no, is it? 35 and 45. I think they need a little extra something for me, but wait a minute. The ladybug one, wait, what is this one? Oh! You are the apple of Anid Collins, $40, dude. What? I'm kind of curious how much this sells for. You know how cheap I am, but 
I've done really well with the need columns in the past, and this is, um, oh wow, it's in like pristine condition. <gasps> oh my gosh, what's the other side? Okay, the other side is blank. This is so cool. I need to look this up. So it looks like the average price is about $90. If I was a collector, I would scream bloody murder for this thing. I'm a little unsure if $40 is a little too much. It's like really on the tight end. Oh, that was unpleasant. Sorry, I love the daisy bag. What is this? Is this a, oh, it's a bouquet. That's still very cute. No, I am, I'm really into this, but that's a lot to spend. Especially with that little spot of damage. Oh, I'm a little on the fence about it, you guys. Um, I love this. Portland Pottery, 1993. It's very cool. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little... I'm so nervous this is going to fall off the wall. Okay, good. I'm starting to feel a little shopped out. But I'm sure I'll get a second wind. I just need... Those are neat. I need something that's like, hey, you have to be in line and interact with more people. That's the thing. I'm just like not trying to interact right now. I'm just in my happy place. So it's going to take something really, really necessary or a really good deal to get me to wait in line. What is happening back here? Oh, I'm still thinking about that box purse. These are so strange. How much are they though? Oh my gosh, look at the vintage Big Bird. I don't know what the price is. This one is really intriguing to me, but I don't see a price tag. A lot of really nice glass. Now I keep trying to remind myself that this is only day three and I'm gonna be gone for six weeks. Oh, I thought it was like a hippo at first. Now you know I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun stuff so far. Nothing that screamed, hey, you need this. Now, that box purse, I'm still thinking about it. But the thing is, if it didn't have that spot of damage, I might be able to get away with it. But that little spot of damage makes a big difference when you're paying $40 for something. Wow, look at that chandelier. And I love everything happening here. The TV, the old Mac. The phone booth, oh my gosh. Breakfast at Tiffany's, vintage refrigerator. Oh my gosh, you mid-century furniture freaks. Look at that. Ooh, lava lamps. <laughs> Love that one too. This is a fun base. Holt Howard, though it's not the most popular set, 20 bucks. And then an acrylic flower been a while since I had one of those. I was looking at the quilt and then I realized this fabulous polka dotted dress. So 80s. Oh my gosh, look at that dress. Oh, that's so cute. All right, let's, um, all right, so 40% off. Love the TV lamps. I am really, really into this vintage velvet children's dress. So, the pizza. And I love the mirrors. This is a fun booth too. Look at the Elvis and that fabulous mustard velvet chair. Oh, giant fork and spoon. <laughs> one day I'll pick one of those up, I promise. What is this? Oh, that's um, just their tags. I saw flower shape and I love this poodle. Long neck, $24 for a collector. That's incredibly good. And oh my gosh, wait. The macrame owl. Does that say $30? Dude. Again, a little close. But I think I think I could do well on that. The little it's not macrame. You know what I mean. What is it called? Uh, the yarn stuff. Oh, it's so big. Oh my gosh, that clown tin toy. That's only 30. That is so fun. And I love the 90210 watch. That's at 25 though. And Quinn's, oh my gosh, this is so much fun. I love all these 80s toys. Oh no, yeah, 80s, okay, yeah. I thought for a second I misread that. They looked 80s. Whoa, 
love the wallpaper in this booth. Oh my gosh, this vase is fantastic. Um, hello. What does that say? $8. That is an incredibly cute Raggedy Ann planter. I think it could even pass for not Raggedy Ann and just cute in general. Uh, at $8, I'm gonna grab it, but alas, what's going on with the Little Bull Peep 22? Oh, so much fun stuff. What's happening here? Disturbing. Huh. All right, well, I officially found something that's gonna make me check out and interact with people. I have to know how much this dog is. I always think these are the funniest things. The Pekingese, and I love the piggy bank. 15 frog creamer, 24, I thought it said four at first. <laughs> Whoa. All retail, but really crazy collection. Oh my gosh, these lamps. The shades on them alone, 598. Okay, I feel much better about that. I was like, dude, I'm about to throw my clothing on the side of the road and take the shades. Oh, and this Italian box. That's at 48 though. Look at this skirt. That is so fun. I love the colors on that. Reminds me of vintage Chanel in the best ways possible, of course. Not that there's a bad way to do vintage Chanel. Oh my gosh, the cat statues. They're almost as tall as I am. How fantastic. Wow, that is a gorgeous piece of Fenton. 95. Well, I'm almost done, but I had to come back here to this room because, well, because they have great stuff <laughs> and I just couldn't stop thinking that I might have missed something back here because I'm a little fried. Oh, look at the butterfly lamp. Oh my gosh. 85. Oh, so cute. Yeah, they have some really, really great stuff back here and it's totally my speed. I just needed to get one last, I love this table set. I needed to get one last look at the, oh my gosh, lampshades. Oh, yeah, I had to get one last look at what was going on back here because I'm a little fried. 35, okay, yeah, so that one's a little underwhelming. What is this case? That's 42. That's really neat, but this Apple box purse thing, that is really driving me nuts, man. It's just that line. I can't justify that for $40, unfortunately. And I keep trying to tell myself, I know I already said this once, but it's only day one. I love the ice bucket. Wait, it's actually not day one, it's day three. Oh man, I hope I sleep well tonight. I kind of want to just get in here. I need to know what that is. And they have a couple compacts and such. And I need to see what the price is on the fish. I'm sure it's expensive but I need to know. Oh, I almost missed an entire room. What are these? Oh my gosh, how fantastic. I wonder how well this would sell. They're a little large, so I would have to get a special box or packaging, but still they're so sweet. And then I also missed I see it's got a little nick on this side, and it's also $30. And then the fuzzy ceramic cows on the chain, 15 Fair. Crazy looking seashell clown thing. <laughs> and what is, is this what I think it is? It is. It's a motorcycle planter, and it's super hard to find because I've never seen one. <laughs> um, that's epic. If it was a little bit less, I would get that for sure. I don't think there's much room in that at 22. Coconut purse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Teenager, 
some girls on the telephone like that usually sell pretty high. I've never seen that though. All right, well, I spent $9 in there. I might have paid a little much for that planter, but I just thought it was so cute. And I've been having such a hard time finding a bunch of kitschy stuff. And I'm making great way with my spending so far. So I'm gonna get back on the road. Hopefully I can get out of this parking lot safely. I have one last stop I wanna go to if I succeed with getting out of this spot. Incredibly stressful drive over here. I've just arrived at East Nashville Antiques and Vintage. I have just under an hour to shop and I am really starting to feel it, you guys. But I really like the way this place looks. Big and bright, just what I need. I already grabbed a basket. Oh my gosh, look at how fun these little lettuce earrings are. And bracelets. That's a fun one, $14.50. Love all the um, brass ones, actually. Those are different. Kind of unique. I like the simple one. Brass made in India. Oh my gosh, this cape. Stop it. Oh, I'm so glad that's not real fur because I would probably have to have it. Let's see. Bags. That's a fun one. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh, I was going to say Oscar Del Renta. That's fantastic, though. So 80s. Oh my gosh, this cute little skirt. Does it have like. Oh, that is adorable. How much is that? $32.50. I don't think I'd wear it enough to justify it. What is going on here? I see red corduroy. Okay, not what I thought it was, but if I worked a nine to five like Dolly, <laughs> I would totally wear that to work. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to go booth by booth, but I'm distracted by this belt. I love the detail on that. I still haven't really gotten myself a souvenir i mean i got a bracelet in uh outside knoxville but this is so much fun i'm trying to find the tag it's right in front of me of course 26.50 totally fair um yeah i haven't really gotten anything for myself which is surprising because normally when i you know i don't do a lot of shopping for myself like when you guys see me shopping at the antique malls but normally when i go out of town i always get something for myself Rachel would love that. Look at these fun salt and pepper shakers. Oh, they're in great condition too. Normally the paint is really beat up on them. Oh, everything happening here. I feel like I should have left more than an hour to do this, but it's okay. I can always come back tomorrow. I don't want to come back tomorrow, but uh, hopefully I make it all the way through comfortably. And I love this whole display going on here. This is a neat one with the orange rhinestones. $29.50. Oh, they move. That's kind of weird. Yes, yes, yes. This place is very me. All right, what's going on in here? I love those glasses, the vintage ones. Oh, and the moose. Wow. Look at this little doll. So sweet. Oh, it's the whole set. That's amazing. I've never seen it in, I've only seen it in this box. I've never seen it in, in its uh, entirety. Fantastic. And more Christmas. 15, not bad. And I love those dolls. Speaking of dolls. Oh my gosh, look at the letters. Oh, these are so fun. I love the green ones. I wonder if there's a green K. Or they're like neon. I don't think there's a K in here. Yeah, these are wild. 25 on this one. She's wild looking. Cute little puppy planter. It's got a crack. I love the tiki mugs too. And this is neat, this rainbow mid-century ashtray. I do love this vegetable scarf. 15. Oh. Every time I see anything here, I'm just like, Rachel would die. <laughs> Rachel would actually die for this jacket. Oh my gosh, that poster. Wow, and all the mid-century furniture and artwork. <gasps> oh, so much. Oh my gosh, this place is way bigger than I thought. The mosaic table. 
this tray, Babes in Toyland. Oh my gosh, look at that lamp. Oh, so much stimulation. <laughs> All right, I think I'm gonna have to ditch my basket and sneak in here. I had one of these at yesteryear. Okay, 55, a little, little on the pricier side. Look at this cute piggy bank. It's plastic, it's got some wear to it. Yeah, this is neat. Love the conversation chair, or the corner bench, I guess. Wow, that's an amazing chunk of wood there. And then the seahorses. Very spendy. Definitely like kind of a hip vibe here. But I'm hip, <laughs> hip enough. Oh, so much fun buttons. I don't normally buy keys, but these ones are neat. $3 each, those are really cool. I'm really glad this is $76, because otherwise I think I could justify buying it. I absolutely adore this dress. Square dancing, smear dancing. I would totally wear this. It's just a little too spendy for me. How cool is this powder box? Oh, it's a puzzle. Interesting. Old new stock jelly bracelets. What? Um, I kind of want to get these and put it in a buy it now. Yeah, these are kind of hard to find and super fun. I just had some in my whatnot sale, a huge lot of them, and people were really into it. I think that offering these as buy it nows will be fun. Oh my gosh. Look at this booth. I'm obsessed with this person. I am gonna look this person up online. I don't wear earrings, but I wonder if they do other stuff because I love their style. Well, obviously they do other stuff. Like the bubble earrings. Oh, Rachel would love those. <laughs> so fun. Oh my gosh, the Annie duffel bag. Oh, so fun. I love these. <laughs> shorts even though they're new oh my gosh this dress that's so much fun you know I love my polka dots 26 I wonder if I'd actually wear that though I feel like I would I'm gonna see if it fits yeah so there is such a thing as 280s <laughs> hard pass for me I love this pink polka dotted one too I don't think that would look very good on me though. It's a weird shape. Oh my gosh, this one. Ah, oh my gosh, it's trying to come with me. <laughs> well, I just picked up this pair of vintage unicorn hair combs, hand painted. The pair is $8, those are fantastic. I totally spaced out and never even told you what I spent in there. Uh, I spent $38, which means I've only spent $300 today so far. So I'm super under budget. And don't worry, I'm about to treat myself. I knew I brought these boots for a reason. Whoa, dude. So cool. I'm here at White Limousine, enjoying the burger, the scenery. It's super pretty here. It's kind of chaotic. And for those of you who don't know what White Limousine is, it is the restaurant at the Dolly Parton Hotel.